the poem the tiger and the deer is written by sri arabindo sri arabindo as we know that he is an indian philosopher yogi and more than that he participated in the struggle for indian independence but as a person he developed his own spiritual ideas and more than that his practice of internal yoga is popular he has built or his place in pondicherry is called as sri arbindo ashram the tiger and the deer is a short poem which is didactic didactic in the sense the poet wants to teach something else to the students more than that the poet also depicts the two dual aspects which two dual aspects the contrast between the evil and good the poet knows that there is an evil mentality in the nature and there is good in the nature and there is always conflict between the evil and good there cannot be any compromise between good and evil and therefore it it is inevitable that there is conflict brute force and tender force these two opposite and at last he thinks that the once the time will come and tender hearted animals like deer shall outlive the tiger which is brilliant brute and he attacks on the animals which are tender friendly and he does not hesitate to kill them because tigers and lions live on the place of the poor tender hearted animals the eyes of these both animals are very very strong they easily make humble that is they make they make the these animals that is they can't move from one place to another place when such animals enter there and therefore these small birds these small animals which are poor in a sense the tiger does not hesitate and therefore the poem which is the tiger and the deer it is a symbolic it is a metaphorical poem what the poet tells the poet tells that there are two impulses there are two types of animals in the nature that is one is good other is cruel it is also applicable to the human beings also that is there are some people who are crooked who are cruel like tiger and there are some men who are poor who are rigid who whose mental temperament is good and there is always contrast there is always conflict between the good and the bad it is applicable to human being also and the as the poet tells that the time will come and the mentality the force of the deer shall outlive that is it shall conquer over the animals like tigers and lions in the same way the poet thinks that what will live outlive the good force the good things in the nature shall outlive ya thikani 